actual name. Uh, Roger Wilkins. And what do you do, Roger? Uh, farmer and cider maker in Somerset. How long have you been a cider maker, Roger? Uh, oh, I actually helped my grandfather all my life, but he died 50 years ago, come beginning of next year, when I was 21, and I should be 71 at Christmas, so... So I've had virtually now near enough to 50 years of doing it on my own. Has it been fun? Well, yeah, we've had ups and downs. We've had some good times, bad times. And uh, I learned everything off my grandfather. I do everything by smell and taste. I don't test nothing. So uh, just proper uh, fermented apple juice. No colorings, no additives, no preservatives in it. Uh, which is very hard job to find proper cider today. There's all chemicals and that now. So. so you call it sugar water sometimes, don't well, you? Well, Lucas say, yeah, sugar water, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a bit of a shame then? Well, it is, because, uh, like, you went back years ago, 50 years ago, there was a lot more apples growed then than what there is now, and there were no apples at all wasted. But the whole trouble is today, everybody's using all this concentrated juice and flavourings and that now. It's not proper cider. <laughs> and it doesn't taste like Roger Wilkins cider, does it? Well, no. That's... There's no apple taste to it. The best cider in the country? Well, I wouldn't say that, but uh, in the top two or three, I reckon. <laughs> so we were talking about ups and downs in a minute. What What is your take on Brexit at the moment? Uh, well, in my opinion, it's been going on too long. If you're coming out, you're out. End the story. And it must be costing billions and billions, all this going on and on. If I was Prime Minister, I'd turn around and say, we're out, we're out, you're not having nothing now. And then they have sun come to their senses. So you think a hard Brexit would be a good idea? Well, I can't see any way. The, what the cost now, the time been going on, you, there's only one way now, you've got to come out. But... Uh, it, it, it's been going on too long, look, this half now. It is terrible. And it needs to get sorted out. Oh, well, yeah, it is a job for the boys, isn't it? That's why they don't want to keep it going on. The longer they keep it going on, the more they fill in their pockets out there. Yeah. And you always describe yourself as a true blue, which is well, a, a yeah. conservative. So yeah. um, what is your take on the way the conservatives are handling this at the moment? Well, uh, like I said... It's a hard job, isn't it? it? It is a hard job, yes, but it's too long-winded if... They know that if they were going to come out, everything should be sorted out. They should have it all negotiable to get everything sorted by now. Because, was it, two years now nearly? <laughs> it's crazy. But anybody can spend anybody else's money, Jason. That's no problem at all. <laughs> Good stuff. Anyway, that brightened up the day. <laughs> I did vote out. Right. Why? Well... The only reason I voted, we've lived for a thousand years without, before we went into this common market. And the whole problem is with it, so far as I can see, there's only France, Germany and us that's keeping it going. And so far as I'm concerned, we're carrying too much dead wood. And, uh, and the only problem is now, that's why France and Germany don't want us out, because they know it, that's going to be the end of the EU, because they ain't going to be able to keep it all going. There's, uh, there's too many bad countries in there, look, and you can't keep subsidising everybody. But, um, we do all right. Um, just like the people to say, we shan't do the trade here, we shan't do the trade there. But if they got the stuff out there they want to sell us, they're going to sell it. And if we got want anything, we shall have to buy it. And that's the, all there is to it. When David Cameron gave us the vote, what did you think about that? Did you think he would ever give us a vote? No, I didn't think it was going to come. I thought when we were in it, we were going to stay in it. But um, uh, it's a very hard... See, the whole trouble is none of us don't know enough about it. And in saying that, I don't think the MPs to know enough about it. And they in the job. So. so David Cameron, you give us a vote, he, you know, basically to stop infighting in the Conservative Party, I would say, because he thought he was going to win the vote. <laughs> And, and, and then he loses a vote, he packs up his job, then Theresa May comes in. It's like, what, what do you think about David Cameron doing that? Well... As, as, a, as a Conservative. He ought to have stuck in there and stayed in there, he really. Dropped, do you think he dropped us in it? Well, we min it anyway in us all the time. Never out the, never out the dung heap. <laughs> and then, then Theresa May comes along and calls that election, yeah. which makes 
the government go from a strong government to a weak government. Yeah, well, another, now, another mistake. And yeah, and now they want her out. Well, somebody's got to be there to do this job. Uh, you can't keep changing your policies all the time. Not, uh, do you think Theresa May is strong enough? If she hangs out to what she said, yes. But, uh, but is that a good deal? Is that a good deal? Who else can you put in again at the moment? Is there anybody you've got your eyes on, Roger? See? <laughs> Apart from yourself, obviously. <laughs> in the paper today, they want somebody younger. But see, you've got to have a prime minister should be an old person that have travelled the world and big business know what he's doing. Uh, a lot of these youngsters and that ain't got a clue what they're doing. They, they haven't never run the big business. Uh, um, and do you think that's the same for cider making? Well, yeah. does, it, does, it take, does it take an older person to, do a, to make cider properly? Uh, I said, well, you've got to have a bit of experience in that, yes. But uh, like I said, I was educated and learned it all off my grandfather. But uh, one thing with proper cider, you have got to drink it and you've got to know what you're doing. Because uh, like I said, I do everything by smell and taste. I don't test nothing. Like, if you were making factory cider, once you've learned the recipe, you make it with a suit and collar and tie on. You you won't get your hands dirty. No. <laughs> and and do you think if the um, politicians were um, doing Brexit with by smell and taste, do you think that would be a better way of doing it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have a bit of a problem there. I think that uh, no, I, um, I don't know what's going to come out of it. But uh, all I know is billions of pounds being wasted. And, and do you think we're going to come out? This, there's lots of people saying, "Oh, there's no way we're going to come out." Well, after what they spent, I can't see there's any other way out now. Um, but see, if they tell the truth, the country's virtually bankrupt, like every other country. There's, they all run on borrowed money. Well, if you're doing all right, it is like our national get, debt to go up every year. Well, if your country's doing all right, why go and borrow more money? That don't add up to me. I don't. What would be your message to British people? Well, I, I think now, at the moment, now we've been this far, we've got to come out of it. I can't see that we can stay in. It, and, um, stay, and stay positive. Well, yeah. And we should win. We should fight. We've got the technology and everything here. If they don't want to sell us the cars and tractors and one thing until they go back and make our own, like we used to years ago. Are you proud to be British? Yes, I am, yeah. Why? Well, because... Born and bred here, always been in the country. I never t go travelling, so uh, I I just like it. Have it. you ever been abroad, Roger? Once in my life. Where did you go? Uh, Malta. Was, oh, was it any good? Well, I enjoyed it while I was out there, but uh, I, 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 run, I like my own bed every night. I like to come home to my own bed. <laughs> yeah.